What's up my guys, Gemma here and back again for another retro game challenge and this video is going to be slightly different as I'm going for quality over quantity, typically I aim for about 6, 7, sometimes even 8 games on these challenges and the aim is pretty simple, go to CEX, spend £5 and buy as many games as possible but in this case like I said we're going in for a little bit of quality I actually think I picked up three games in total now this video again is going to differ very slightly as I'm going to show you guys a whole heap of cartridge based retro games um, in this video as well because this being a brand new CEX in Leeds it was a lot bigger and it had a whole heap of stock that typically my local CEX doesn't have additionally at the end you're going to take a look at some awesome awesome footage from a really cool and quirky local comic book store in Leeds again called OK Comics so if you're knocking around Leeds go and check it out um, and let me know if you've ever been there actually but smash them comments below and let me know what you think in this video, uh, or these types of videos rather, I like to show you guys a really good look at all the stock. It's not just about finding uh, the games I'm going to be buying, I like to know what you guys think and I like to know what you would have picked up as well. Um, so again, keep your eyes peeled guys. Um, we start off with some Wii games, you guys saw some original Xbox stuff over there. Um, the Jurassic Park one does go for quite a bit, I think it was priced at 25 quid, um, but nonetheless it's not really a game I'm kind of looking for. I did actually pick up something as well, a PlayStation 2 game in here that I believe I got a real bargain on. Um, I'll probably just tell you what it is actually and then you can let me know if you think it's a bargain. Now, um, GameCube, again, decent selection. Doesn't look like much, but actually this is quite a decent selection. If you guys go over to my Instagram, you'll see a game that was priced here at £70 um, and I popped it on my Instagram, the link's in the description. Um, it was this one here, uh, Skies of Arcadia Legends, 70 quid. Some of you guys thought that was actually a good deal on my Facebook page as well. Some of you thought that it was an absolute astronomical price. But what do you guys here on YouTube think? Would you have paid £70 for that? Again, smash in comments below and let me know what you guys think. Now, over to the PlayStation 2 selection. Now we were blessed. Everything looked so damn neat, which is rare really for CEX, even though everything in alphabetical order in my local CX, things are such a mess but this one was really really nicely um, kind of organized really so we'll take a look at some stuff there's plenty of eye toy stuff in this is what I picked up for 10 pound this usually goes for 20 pound and up um, it was boxed complete, really nice condition, and I kind of figured with the release of Shadow of Colossus on the PlayStation 4, rather than the re-release, I kind of figured I would add that into the collection. I've been waiting to find it at a decent price, and I figured £10 was a good start. So let me know, Is it good price, bad price, what do you guys think? So continuing with the PlayStation 2 selection, uh, there were two kind of walls, you've seen the first little bit there and we dive around to the other side and I will admit, this side did have a much better selection in, um, albeit plenty of FIFA's and um, PES soccer games as well, uh, but nonetheless some decent titles which you're going to see. Um, I've never seen this before and I was going to ask you guys, is it any good? Ring of Red, it was priced at £5, I didn't pick it up but I wanted to know from you, is it any good and is it worth five quid really? Uh, it didn't seem too bad at £5 um, and it's not one I've seen before so I thought I would ask. Now like I said lots of pro evolution soccer's there we're gonna bypass that. Um, Nightshade in at 22, Metal Gear Solid 3 in at 3. Again most of these I do have but I just wanted to show you guys what the selection was like. This is actually a really good need for speed game I think my brother was kind of hooked on that. And then this caught my eye, Motor Mayhem. Again quid, not a game I've seen around much um, so I kind of figured you know what let's add it into the £5 game collection and we've got a pound on the clock already so we've got £4 left to spend um, looking forward to seeing uh, what, what I'm getting, I obviously know what I'm getting but you guys obviously don't so stay tuned um, and if you want to do your own challenge in this um, let me know some of you guys have tagged me on Twitter saying that you've done it which is awesome, if we can get a bit of a trend going on it then I think that's pretty awesome too me to see so many football games 
splodged in every single game shop you go in. If it's not FIFA, it's a Pez game, um, and it just cripples me, honestly. I find it really amusing, what a waste. Um, so Onimusha then, um, great fan of the series, haven't played it as late. I think the last time I played an Onimusha game was over on the PlayStation 2, and Oni, of course, 50 pence. Um, already have it, so I just left it right there. Um, so swinging back around to the first side of the PlayStation 2 games, up to this, Devil May Cry 2, which is two discs, and I kind of figure I don't have it, Let's put it in the bag, taking that total up to £2.50. Now, like I said, for me, I think that's a quality little title, albeit it's one fifty at the budget, but nonetheless, I actually think that's really, really worth it. And I did say in the beginning that I wanted to kind of dip in with a, a few more quality titles rather than go for a load of, you know, quantity of six, seven, eight titles, which is often what we get on this challenge. Now, again, just showing you guys what else is in. Um, I know for some of you that don't live in the United Kingdom and aren't familiar with CEX, it's just nice for you to have a look around. Um, you know, if I mean, most of these are on high streets anyway, and if you can't find a local retro game store, then this is as good a place as any to find something that you might potentially want to take home. So over to the huge selection of Xbox 360 games. Um, I loved this when it was re-released on PS4. So again, we're gonna be adding it into the Xbox 360 collection. Now I was umming and ahhing as you guys saw there. There were two copies. I picked up the best one, I put it down, I picked it back up again, uh, but it's, it's in the collection now. So I'm pretty kind of stoked about that. Now Lego games, I think are great in terms of holding the value. I always have a ton of fun on Lego games. I played quite a few of them on the 3DS when it originally came out, and I think there was a Lego Star Wars game that came as part of like a launch bundle, if I remember correctly. Um, so, but let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite Lego game? Um, and what is the worst? What do we need to look out for? What do we need to avoid? Again, smash some comments below and let me know what you think. Great game here, Castlevania Lords of Shadows. Not the best Castlevania game by any stretch of the imagination, but still a fun game. And I think I bought it on the PlayStation 3 back on launch. Uh, myself and my Matt were having kind of competitions on who can beat it first. I think he won, but nonetheless, he had way more free time on his hands than what I did back then. Now, I was just double checking here, as we've only got a quid left. Was there anything on the 360 worth getting for a quid? I couldn't find anything, so we navigated back to pretty much where we started with the Wii titles. Um, and I did manage to find something here. Um, and obviously that's not it because it's two pound. That would have taken us over budget. Um, now I have this and I think I paid a pound for it. So it was striking that it was two pound 50 there. Uh, but nonetheless, we did pick this up right here. Um, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. And I love this game actually. It's really, really fun. And it took us up to five quid. So kind of figured we'd go with that. Um, and just as we kind of finish looking at the rest of this section here, we've got some DS games. Uh, there were loads and loads in, loads of Pokemon titles, some really nice stuff. Uh, very expensive though. And then after this, we wandered over to the retro game selection, which was, to be honest, it was actually pretty decent. The prices weren't too bad, again, but everybody's different. I think it's a buyer's market most of the time. If you're willing to pay it and you really want it, then price can sometimes be um, no obstacle. You, you know, you can just kind of buy it. Um, a lot of the kind of rarer stuff, the more gemmy kind of stuff was behind the counter, which you'll see here. So plenty of GameCube consoles in, plenty of Nintendo 64, loads of Sega goodness, Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo Pal, I think that was £120, um, Streets of Rage for 95 Streets of Rage 3. Um, we were discussing that in a last last week's retro game hunt. Um, as I found a copy for £60, but the cart was beat up and it had no manual, so I kind of walked away from that despite wanting it for the collection. So over to the handheld stuff, as ever, it is Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. 
We've got a Game Boy Pocket there, um, a Game Boy Micro at £60. I think that's a little bit excessive if I'm brutally honest. I've seen the silvers boxed going for a little bit cheaper than that. But again, it's just kind of good to see. Um, loads of standard 2DSs in. Um, and then we kind of switched over here, which you're going to see some PlayStation 1 stuff, some Nintendo 64 stuff. Um, and I believe there are a couple of SNES games bundled in with this as well, as you guys can see right here. So not a massive amount by, you know, kind of unboxed game standards. Some decent stuff. Medieval there. I think that was priced at £15. Not too bad for Medieval, if I'm brutally honest. It does go um, for a lot more money. Um, and at this point, I think I'd said, right, let's go. Uh, and I went off to the comic book store, which is right here. Now, again, if you're in Leeds um, or you're going to Leeds, definitely check out OK Comics. Punch it into Google. And it's real, really easy to find. It's just off the main drag down a, a shopping precinct and into one of the smaller arcades. And I, I, I always go in here and I always buy something. I actually went in um, and I bought two the uh, I bought Tokyo Ghoul at number three and four, and then later came back and bought number five. So that was pretty darn cool. Um, and then there were some really cheap Call of Duty Black Ops Three comics for two quid, which act as I believe the prequel to the game. Um, I don't know if it's a sequel or prequel. I have to double check. But nonetheless, for two quid, I kind of figured you can't go wrong. So we've seen plenty of Marvel stuff there, and right here we've got the uh, the manga stuff. I was eyeing this Akira, um, but I didn't bother because my main goal was to come out of here with my Tokyo Ghoul, which I'm completely kind of hooked on at the moment. Let me know if you've read it actually, and if you haven't, I highly recommend it. Now I just want to say guys, as we draw this video to an end, thank you very much for watching. If you want more five pound retro game challenges, definitely let me know. But for now, make sure you hit that subscribe button and definitely hit that like button and maybe share the video and I will see you in the next one. Guys, thank you very much. My name is Jim. Take care. See you soon.